Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. I think I'm going to have a quarter life crisis this year. Light. Little Z. <laughs> Me too, dude. <laughs> hey, yo. Pop it one. Damn, you guys are going to live for a long time then. 100 and something. Yeah, respect. Eight, 108. I feel like I have one all the time, but maybe that's just being 25. How old am I? Yeah, 25. Can we dive into that later in the pod and start it off a bit happier? Yeah, well, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing having a quarter life crisis, but we'll get there. We'll yeah, it get could there. be good. It could be a. Uh... Maybe we'll do it a quarter of the way through the pod. Name, yeah. Name your favorite crisis. A quarter pod crisis. Oh, getting old. Mm. I mean, that's the whole point, right? Yeah. But when uh, I was born. Yeah. What a crisis. Yeah. <laughs> They're all based around getting old, aren't they? Yeah. Anyway. Uh,. Uh, speaking of getting old, Jordan's going to grow old with Holly. Oh! 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 I'm a fiancé. You're that a Mr. Engaged. Yeah. Have, you, have you said my fiancé yet? Yes. Oh, Who did you say it to? Did it Was oh, it surreal to, the oh, first time? No, to Holly. No, would you, no, do you want to say it to us? <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Tell a story about Holly and yeah. refer to her as your fiancé. Oh, right. Like, have you done that yet? Oh. Did you see anyone this morning? Oh, my fiance actually. Oh. Yeah, yeah. This what guy, a story. She slept in. This guy fucks, eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you got a fiance? fiance? No, they're waiting till marriage. Oh, really? Yeah, no. that's why. Yeah. Oh, that's why they're getting married. <laughs> wow. Mm. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's just law now. We just leave that. So, <laughs> how, did, on. how did it happen, John? I'm set well, the scene. Do you want me to, like, say? Like, do you want me to be happened? Holly? Well, do you want to share? <laughs> um, well, I've got to. a ring to start off with. Uh, no, yeah. How did, when did you do that? On the day. I what? kind of decided on the day. Wow. Oh my God. Like, such a, then, such it a was Jordan. just like, okay, this, yeah, this is good today. We'll do it. Yeah. Then I like looked up online to see if I could find a good ring. How to But did you buy it on like Wish? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been cheaper. I imagine Holly looking at the search history and it's one of Jordan's fucking questions of the week. <laughs> but it's just best engagement ring for girlfriend for years. I was looking blonde. at the stats, I won't lie. Carrots and that. Jordan's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the search history is like, difference between cucumber and zucchini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best engagement ring 2022. <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, what are penguins up to? I got a good, <laughs> I, I got a good deal, two for one. I, you gotta get a wedding ring and an engagement oh, ring. I thought you were, I thought you were say, proposing to two girls. <laughs> Who's the other lucky girl? One for my side. Double bitch. your odds, you know. Yeah, that's true. Fifty percent of marriages end in divorce, so I'll be good forever. You'll be perfect, <laughs> bro. You definitely should have called uh, up Sophie and I because Sophie used to work in a jewelry shop to make sure you get the uh, oh. the, the smart. What 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 cut did you get? Do you remember? I don't know what that means. Okay, so, no, diamond no. cut. Do you get like a? But there's like princess cut and oh, shit I've like that. No, no idea. Holly, turn the podcast <laughs> off now. Oh, we know you listen. It's just going to get worse. Did Any- you tell Holly you bought it on the day? Um, Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's cool. As long yeah. as she's on board. But um, yeah. No, it's, it's really nice, actually. I've seen it. The uh, ring, yeah. Yeah, it's a really nice ring. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Imagine you'd say it was actually pretty bad, boys. <laughs> anyway, got that. Um, The most nervous part was I did the. Uh, the whole thing of like going to Holly's parents and being like, oh, oh I want to marry your daughter. You, know? you asked. Yeah. The yeah. old fashioned gentleman. Well, yeah. Good for you. Because her parents are pretty uh, conservative. Oh, not really con- no, not really actually, but oh. they would like it, you know? They're, it, um, it would be nice. What's the word? That. Yeah. They appreciate it. <laughs> they love love. <laughs> they love love. They love love. They're still together. So, are they you know, lovers? They're lovers. Oh, God. They love. Family of love. Family slap, of love. Slap on the ass and that every now and then. Yes. Oh, to you or? No, yeah. To each other. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, go on, Jordan. Yeah, marry me, daughter. <laughs> anyway, that was the most nerve-wracking part. <laughs> it clearly showed that I don't like just talk to people because everyone was like, what is wrong? Like, obviously, I just go over to their house, like, completely alone. And, like, Holly's dad looked like, oh, Holly's got cancer or something. He's like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> something bad to happen. Right. And then it's like, I, I went to call my mum to... Because I was on my way to get the ring and it was near her house. I was like, oh, yeah. do you want to come? But I like called and then she's like, oh, can can you can, can I call back in an hour? But I was driving, so I called again. She was like, what's wrong? What's happened? And you're like, like no, nothing. Oh, everyone, I was like, actually, it's good. It's good. Oh, so you went, oh, you're saying, yeah, okay. Whenever you called someone or went to talk to them, they're like, what's wrong? So yeah, exactly. And you. Holly and I then got engaged and then I was like, called like my sisters or like called people to say we got engaged and you're like oh no what's wrong what's happened didn't get a call did you guys get a call <laughs> no no no, I, no didn't, you, I didn't get a no. heads up i didn't get a call no. i saw it on twitter like the, no actually you did tell our group chat before i didn't, ask, group chat. I didn't I did. ask me for my blessing either yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what, are you sure? That, what if everyone was just like, they knew, but they were looking so sad and worried because they were like, my daughter's marrying a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be it. Volatile. They were like, oh, there's only one reason he'd be here. Fuck. <laughs> they're, like, <laughs> yeah, they're like, what's wrong? And it's like, I want to marry daughter. And they're like, oh! <laughs> we oh, thought it was cancer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could have she just been hit by a bus. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Dude, I was so nervous that day. I haven't been nervous in like probably since I've done like year 12 exams. Dude, isn't? But I was just like, yeah. I had so much like adrenaline that I was like, I don't know. I felt like I could do anything. It's crazy how you forget what being nervous feels like when you get comfortable. Yeah. It's insane. Like I, I remember this specifically from having a long-term relationship and then that ended and then going on my first day with Sophie. Oh, ah, yeah. And I was a mess. <laughs> I, I couldn't eat. I couldn't like yeah. sleep. I couldn't think about anything else. I was just nervous all the time, overanalyzing every message. And I was just like, this is the shittest thing. Yeah. I just, but it's kind of exciting as well. I, yeah. It was like so much adrenaline. Like I had to go, I went to get this ring from the store near me and I oh, sorry, we don't have it. It's only in this place an hour away. And I was like, ah, who cares? I can do it. I just had so much adrenaline. And then I was like, okay, I need to calm down, play some... <laughs> I'll run there. I went to play. <laughs> I yeah, went to I could do an hour drive on the day of. I knew I was nervous because I went to play on Elite Smash and I, I <laughs> lost three matches in a row. Wow. Which oh, never, it ever, never happens. It doesn't. My never Game & Watch went like below my Little Mac in GSP. It was terrible. I was like, oh, I'm Is this a the speech wreck. you gave when you were down yeah. on one knee? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, today I was so nervous. I was thinking about you and I lost three games as Game & Watch. And Holly's like, oh, of course oh I will. God. But uh, <laughs> and and as you guys know, I'm not very good at um hiding my feelings, my I don't suspiciousness. Know that, but okay. No, no, no. So, so we're doing a well, Jordan a, can't. A he has no poker face. We're doing oh. a sketch. from us three if, pretty well. No, I no, would no. Say. If we're doing a sketch, I'll like be laughing or like not be able to deliver my lines mm. or you know that kind of thing. Bad yeah. Actor. So like I'm like okay, gotta stay, gotta stay chill. Holly was at work all day. Yeah. And then she gets home at five o'clock, and then we're gonna go out for like a picnic. And I was like, okay, got to stay chill. Late night gotta picnic. Make sure. It was on New Year's Eve, so. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, stay yeah. chill, get the. So, wife. Wife. Yeah, Girl. Engage. Oh. And then Holly gets home and she comes in. I immediately just like, I'm like smiling, like, or like laughing. And she's like, what is going on? And I'm like, nothing. I lost three games today. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, just playing Smash Bros. <laughs> and it was like, I think it was just so like obvious that does she think it's obvious now having it happened yeah having she was no, bit, i think she knew beforehand she was a bit sus oh. she was very suspicious yes and then we have one of those little uh dog cameras to see yep. the dog i didn't realize it could actually see all the way to the front door and i was like where'd you go for like where'd you go today for ages and i was like oh just doing youtube and she's like i, I saw you go for ages i was like ah Ah, nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing at all. Like trying to cover it up. Yeah, like, I couldn't come up with just, anything. Just seeing my side, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan you could, have, you could have said anything. You I, could have said you came here to do like a gaming video. I know. I was like, you went to the nothing. shops. Like, <laughs> so nothing. suspicious. But, I uh, stood in the driveway for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and then we went and went to the park and then I was like, yeah, I want to get married and that. Uh, I don't know. There's not too much. Give us some more sauce There's to that. Too much that what you story. Said? We're having fish and chips, and I was like, "Oh, wait till we finish this. Otherwise, it's a bit weird." You don't have oil. Did you do hands. the one knee thing? I did, but stealthily. I didn't want to make it a big deal. Can you give us a little demo? You, it is a pretty big deal. You don't really. No, but Holly didn't want to make like Holly wouldn't want it to be like everyone's like, scene. "Oh wow!" Oh, they yeah. would. She would say that, but I bet she would love it. No, no, I, no, I don't Holly, think she no, would. Nah, she no, like that. no, nah. Some girls do not like that. She's not uh, into. But people you only get to do that her. one time. Yeah, that's hopefully. Fine. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> John's still got one next week. Yeah, the other the person ring. I was ma getting the uh, ring off was like, "Oh, I'm on to my third now. Oh, good moment. Great thing to say." But I don't know. I was just. Kind of got up on a knee. Can we have a look or what? Yeah, go on, Jordan. Oh. I'll describe it. All right, he's on the floor. Oh, like, you can describe it. So we're it. having a picnic like yeah. this, fish and chips. That's how you sit. And then, That's very cool. Yeah, I was like, this. The pot, the the ring was in this pocket. Oh, stressful. Mm. Yeah. Because I was like, don't want to. How'd you hide that? Wouldn't it be like a big box? I took it out of the box. It was just, it was just the oh, ring, which oh, is pretty risky. That's honestly. very risky. I was constantly feeling my pocket to be like, oh shit. Have you had and your then, zip up cargo shorts on? I didn't. I oh. didn't. So I just, I just kept like pushing it down there, being like, stay there. And then I was just like. <laughs> the ring that is goes. So the Holly ring. was really suspicious that she went <laughs> to. Okay, this is a bit weird because no one can see, but Holly went to like feel my pocket as yeah. I was sitting there because she's like, "Why are you so suspicious?" She went to feel my pocket. And I was like, "Ah, should have checked the other pocket." And then I like, pulled it out. And then it was oh, like, "Oh, that's a fucking gotcha. bit of this." Is good. 
bit uh, of this. Want to get married? You did not did say. You said want to get married? Did you say that? No, I said. I said the whole like, oh, I love you. Want to stay with you forever? Blah blah. blah. Did you say oh. Holly, will you marry me, or do you say Holly, want to get married? Bit of this. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know. It's such an adrenaline rush uh, of a moment. Yeah. I, I forgot. Uh, Those yeah. things happen quickly when you're all gassed up on adrenaline. Yeah, exactly. And so then that was it. It was pretty nice. Well, so when's the wedding? Up? I don't know. Is I've, it after the house I forgot or? there's an engagement party as well. People yeah. are like, when's the party? Oh, I was like, oh God. Are we going to have know. an underdog's bucks party? <laughs> yeah, Can oh. we do that for a video? <laughs> are we invited? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah! So yeah I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about all of that. I was so focused on like the whole ring party. The ring, yeah. You had one day of planning. It would have been stressful. Yeah, it was. It <laughs> and was. then you realise you actually got to deal with the rest of that shit. Yeah. If we do, who knows? Yeah. Well, maybe we'll just go get a lake in Japan or something. Swimming. You know, I actually wanted to marry a rock melon once, but my mum said I can't elope. Uh, saw that can't coming. Elope. What does that mean? Uh, yo! That's another word for rock melon. Oh. It's the American word. Cantaloupe. I yeah. thought that was an animal with horns. That's an antelope. Close, though. <laughs> close, close. <laughs> I can understand the confusion. Yeah. It's very close. <laughs> hey, guys, I, want, I wanted to marry a really tiny insect once. What happened? A- antelope. <laughs> Insect? Insect, it's an animal. Antelope. Oh. 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 Sorry. Antelope. So there sorry, might you guys. Stick with, the, stick with the rock melon. Do we edit this podcast? Or? <laughs> no, I don't sorry, bro. Okay. That's in the so anyway, what have you guys been up to? Well, not getting married. We I kind mean, of caught up last week when you weren't here. Yeah, fair. Yeah, okay. So we were talking a little bit before the podcast. It seems like everything's changed. Peter was talking today about how he woke up really early in the morning yeah. and was like loving it. Zach's has a chess board in yeah. on his dining room table. Yeah, it's weird. And and chess. playing chess apparently. Almost 600 uh, score. And Jackson oh, nice. Thanks, broke man. his rib, which he hadn't before. <laughs> That's true. He'd already done that last week. You missed that a lot last week, I mate. know. The hey, whole world's know, changed. It's the first podcast you've ever missed. It was, yeah. And I was I've pretty missed sad about that. Really? Yeah, he's yeah. the only one who hasn't missed a podcast I was on a good streak. And now I feel like it was our best one too. <laughs> Shut up, Zach. <laughs> By miles. Just though. kidding. What was it? I got food poisoning? Yeah. No. No, yeah. No. What excuse did you use? I can't remember. I can't remember. Was yeah. it food poisoning? Must, must, have had, must have been bad. I did Cat's have food birthday. poisoning. Yeah. Grandma yeah. died. This, food is, poisoning. this is what happens when your friends get married. They're just off with their mm. fiance. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have time for the boys anymore. Yeah, Joe, you don't have time for the no, boys. I got food poisoning for the first time, which is pretty rough. Mm. Could have had it with the boys. Food poisoning with the boys. Committed. It's yeah, like, Zach's, Zach's all about shitting his pants with the boys. So got a, I've got a bucket here. Oh, <laughs> where's yeah. the commitment? Can you imagine that? Like, actually. It was pretty violent. Pop up up. Question of the week. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty audible. <laughs> yeah. Question of the week. Can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got a bone to pick with you, Jordan, on the on this a bone. one. I do have a bone to pick with you. With, on which, which part? One? The engagement oh, yeah, part? Yeah, on the engagement. Oh, okay. here we go. Could you have not done it on my anniversary? Mm. On New because Year's Because yours Eve. is way fucking better it's now. It's literally the Earth's anniversary. No, <laughs> no. Priorities. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't stay your anniversary. The wedding's the anniversary. I know. At the end of the day. Right. Now, Does anyone care about your engagement? I don't think. Date? No, no I don't now, think so. Now I've forgotten. Like, as soon as we got engaged, poof, whenever we first met is gone. Who cares? Oh, really? And then we'll get a wedding and then updated. that's a new date. Jeez, I need to get engaged then because I did not remember what time yeah, getting engaged got together. Real quick. I need a new date. <laughs> Jordan can only keep one date in his brain at a time. Yeah, yeah. So you got to choose an happens. elite, like, marriage day. Like what would be an elite August 10th. Oh, the best. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Something easy to remember would go well. What's Zach's anniversary? Just do that. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't well, know. You did mine for oh, the engagement, okay. so you might as well just cycle the room. What about if like, all the numbers are the same? So then you get divorced on Jackson's anniversary. Which I don't really know when it is. So it could be like the 2nd of the 5th in 2025. But the problem with those dates... Genius. The problem with those dates is that they are uh, very competitive for booking places, so it's probably not going to be oh. optimal because oh, it'll be much I more see, expensive. If you get in the field, now. you'll do a, like a Sunday night or something. Mm. I have no idea. Do you want the kind of guy do. to get married on a weekday? We might have a picnic I'm in a the YouTuber, park. I'm a YouTuber, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So I don't much know what cheaper, we'll do. bro. <laughs> Everyone leaves at 10 p.m. <laughs> True, do you guys have any cheap wedding ideas? Uh, don't get married. Fly yeah. the boys to Vegas. Don't invite anyone to your wedding. Mario Kart. No, what's it called? Go-karts. That's not cheap. A wedding on a go-kart. That would be pretty high. Do you want cheap or high-five? <laughs> Have you ever met a woman? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's fianced. 
fiance. And do you, Jordan, take, and then you're like, oh, hold on, let me finish this lap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're driving away from her so you can't go in for the kiss. That wouldn't really work. I was trying to think of how to make it a <laughs> bit you exciting. Mean? You're just now realising go-kart wedding is a no-go. Wiley just came up with it, and then you got to test theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. test him out. He's thinking out loud. <laughs> what like else have you got? Um, <laughs> like Ed Sheeran. What about... <laughs> He's romantic, so yeah, he's, he's thinking out loud. What about yeah. that thing where they throw the cheese down the hill and you got to chase it, but they throw the rings and Holly and I have to run That's down. good. And then you like have some of your injuries. Yeah, yeah but people get fucked People get really injured, yeah. They do, they get fucked. I saw a documentary. So maybe we won't do that either? That's what we're here for. That's what we're here. All right, what Ideas. else have we got? Comment if you're storming. Third yeah. time's the charm. I've come up with two. You guys have got No, nothing. it's your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair. How about you organise a smash tournament and then you get there, there's no smash setups and it's just the wedding. And you oh, just baited a bunch baited. of people to come in yeah. to your wedding. Oh and so, God. yeah, that's smart. Wait, this is... um. This is romantic. You you hold a smash tournament. No, nope, and you right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. incorrect. You've lied. Wrong. And you seed it so that you and Holly both make it to grands. Like easy. yeah, you pay everyone to throw oh. against Holly, or you just put her against like five year olds. Oh yeah, she could probably beat a five year old. Probably yeah, yeah definitely. You realize you, won his first tournament. If you seed them. Holly into Zach and Holly starts trash talking, Zach will beat her. <laughs> you <laughs> you know, like, how much money you want? Yeah. He will like, be able to take it. On the dress. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll be that person where it's like, if anyone wants to speak now or forever, hold your peace, yeah. and I'll be fucking up Holly as Donkey yeah. Kong. Like, <laughs> That's your speak. I'm making it to grass. <laughs> Yeah, I probably won't do that one either, but we'll All speak right. it well, out loud. We've done three. Yeah. That's good. We'll do three, three a week. We'll come up with three Eventually, ideas. Eventually, we'll get one in there. Yeah. Sure. Is there we're speaking out loud? What? It's good. You, to th- is that a thing? Yeah, I don't speak it out loud. Oh, well, we're not doing sign language out here, mate. I wasn't a lie. <laughs> sign language would be great for the pod, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, video viewers. Well, like, yeah, the audio listeners are dead. Rise with the video only viewers. True. Who's if the biggest uh, non speaking pod? Mute gang. That's probably a whole audience. Is it? What? It yeah, must be. a sign language podcast yeah. surely exists. All the people who... Mm, yeah. well, instead of sign right language, here. you could also have captions. <laughs> yeah. oh, just that's a great point. To any I podcast. I take it all back. Yeah. If there's ever smart. an awkward silence on our podcast, just know I'd sign language to a really funny joke though. Yeah. And do you reckon anyone watches this pod on mute and uses the auto-generated captions? Because if so, I'm so sorry. Probably. Why would they there's do at least that? one deaf person. You've got a we have a lot of a lot yeah, of viewers. I guess so. But the auto-generated captions kind of suck. Yeah, so. so bad. I don't think you could make... And they're pretty bad at Australian accents, I've noticed. They are very Americanized. They're ready for that, not for the way I talk particularly. Yeah, definitely. Do you reckon we, there's always like one person that's very specific that we could ask to post on Twitter? Yeah. Yeah, no, we, we asked for... What was the name? Gordon's. Gordon's. Two episodes ago, oh, we yeah. asked Freddie Gordon's, and someone said in the comments, they were like, I'm a Gordon, and I've never met another Gordon. Oh, wow. <laughs> shout out. Oh, so shout out to the one Gordon. What's Solo our one thing of the week? Um, I think it should be mute only watchers. Yeah. yeah. Are there any of you? Uh, I d- you don't need to specify if you have any kind of deafness or anything. Post you could just comment. be... Maybe you just need a... You're in a library. You've got to be quiet. Yeah. You forgot the headphones. At work, phone <sighs> sitting on the desk. You need the auto-generated captions. You know, it's close mm-hmm. enough. Any auto-generated caption users? I doubt it. Surely not. That sounds terrible. No, there's got to be more Gordons than auto-generate caption users. Yeah, because yeah. also we end up talking over each other. How do you How do you do that? Exactly. So Does it show me. two things? Or is no, it, like, it just takes us one audio like, file. And then it, what would that be? Believe it or Probably indistinguishable audio or something, it'll say. Uh, you know, it's like indistinct chatter or something yeah. on subtitles often. It's probably what it thinks it is. I see. All well, right. I don't know. I, I want to change the topic. All right. Let's do it. Do you, Zach, do you want to talk about the thing you messaged me about last night and Whoa. how that's going? Yeah. The the smartwatch what? thing? Oh, it's not going yet. Yeah, but what's the plan, Stan? What's um, this? Oh, Zach's I, fitness journey. You're a fitness man? Yeah, oh. I asked about... Well, didn't I mention this? It was my New Year's resolution yeah, and did. I was making a video on it. Oh, yeah. Haven't started yet. You weren't here, George. Um, no, no, but I remember Zach saying it because aren't we going to do the, the gym video again in a few months? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. And then and I'm going to be jacked by Zach, then. Zach will be Zach will jacked. Be jack. Zacked. So I was just asking if I could buy Peter's smartwatch off him maybe because like the, the heart rate tracker yeah. and that sort of thing and to play music so I don't have to take my phone if I like d- go for runs and that. Oh, that's but good. my plan was to start this week and then I got pretty fucking sick on Monday after the festival on the weekend. Yeah. Yep. And Ooh. I had to record like the intro and I didn't want the like the very start to just be like I literally couldn't talk because I lost my voice at the festival. <laughs> then the next day I was like feeling quite sick. After volleyball I felt good though. Mm. But then yesterday I spent the whole day with Maddie because she had the day off work. All right. So, but I did like start uh, doing my like walks and that. Uh, That's good. Just like the most, That's the right. most basic stuff and eating healthy. <clears throat> but I haven't started going to the gym yet because. 
I've been sick and busy. Are you looking to more do runs or the gym? Uh, both, but I got to slowly build up the runs because I'm so it's fucking so hard. It's hard, right? dude. I'm Running really sucks. Have you tried to actually like run? Ah, uh, no. It's fucked. It's pretty hard. It's so I'm going to do the thing where like every day you run for like an extra minute until that's I can cool. do like 30 minutes. Get that app. What's yeah, it called? Yeah, that's good. Couch to 5K. That's a good way to that. Yeah, yeah. That's a similar a, idea, I think. Just your yeah. first run after not running is like... Pfft. Yeah, what has I was happened. actually. Yeah. But you get good really quick. I feel you do. Yeah. The, it's like addictive how much you notice improvement when you do running. Like when yeah, because I did it around my house. Like this was years and years ago now. But like I ended up giving myself shin splints. So be careful about running on concrete. There's, there's a tip for you. Yeah, Ooh. run on grass. What run on grass shin if you splint? can. Uh, shin, shin splints is splints? where like the bone in your shin starts getting like very very early onset micro fractures. Oh, is so, that good like, though? Does that make it stronger? Nah, it, and that's muscles that do that. Bones don't like that oh. shit. And so like- it Don't just hurt your bones. It really hurts the inside or the outside of your shins and it just gets worse and worse over time. Ah. But it's it's from like, cause we run on hard surfaces. Like that's not natural. Yeah. Like, like your, body, the, your body isn't the, made the for like smacking into concrete a million oh, times. Oh, it's gone like that way. Yeah, basically. Oh, cause like I know that impact. people in like Muay Thai, like deliberately like do micro fractures on their shins so they grow back stronger. Mm, that's like, like that's probably a bit somewhat different. different. What? They're wow. Probably because they're kicking it well, instead when, of when you get a fracture and then it heals over. Yeah, it yeah. has this like lump on it now. Oh my god! But this is—I don't think it's like oh, that. Oh, okay, yeah. Some people have hard ass shins. But anyway, what was Not I me. saying? Well, yeah, when I was doing it, I, it was so addictive because, like, at first I couldn't make it to the end of my street yeah. without stopping, and then I had to walk home, and then I made it to the end of my street, and then it was like the end of the street and back. Eventually, this is like over the course of months, and it's so noticeable, especially yeah. if you do the same route every day. Yeah. Never, yeah. Like how much further you can go—it's crazy. Yeah. So. My plan is because, which is kind of annoying as well, but it'll be good because I can take Ollie. Uh, the park down the road, which I do need to drive to, which is the annoying part. It's like a three minute drive. But then it's got a whole path around the outside and it's dog friendly. So I can have him like more off the lead so Ooh. he can not pull me along in that. Because Ollie will like running and walking with me. Yeah. But like he does pull a little bit. So <laughs> the more space that he's got, the better. Not next to roads and that. But then it's also got markings of like every hundred meters on this like path. Oh, oh that's, that's cool. cool. So yeah. that'll be uh, good as well. Yeah, I would very, very highly advise run on the grass next to the path yeah, for like okay. long-term leg health because it's just so much better. Yep. Like, good advice. Great uh, advice, in fact. And yeah, and a bit of gym as well. Yeah. I feel like gym's a little bit easier to get into. So my running. plan is like Monday, Wednesday, Friday and like stick to that for the whole course of nice. the video. Nice. Which I haven't started the video yet. That's, That's cool. That's that sounds awesome. Hard. So uh, this is my my new thing that's somewhat related is waking up a bit earlier recently. Mm. So because um <laughs> crazy. Where's Peter? Where's, Where's Peter? Peter? What Where's have you Peter? done with him? <laughs> new year, new me, guys. Yeah, this right. is, you know how like we talked about our New Year's resolutions yeah. last week. Now we're in like a week later. We're still super motivated yeah. on them. Well, you didn't even have one last week. Yeah, now I have one. Oh, that's not the one though. This is just general lifestyle changes. Wow, go on. Uh, so. Wait, because it just kind of starts. Because most people become morning person because they're forced to because of work. Yeah, mm. I would say so. You know, it's it's like because of stuff. So Sophie started getting these earlier shifts. So she's waking up early and it just makes sense for me to also wake up, yep. do my work, and then we can hang out in the evening because it doesn't make sense for me to stay up later if this she's going to my life. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is, this is what happened Same. to Zach with Maddie. Yeah. I assume it happened to yeah. most of us. Uh, I heard a quote recently and it was like, if someone says something that annoys you, you should probably listen to them because it's you learn more from that. <laughs> Start then. talking, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Why to the question of the week? Because you learn more from that than someone who just says something that you agree with. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. Is this about me? No. <laughs> oh, because I've been telling you to wake up early for like <laughs> years now. Well, the thing is, it's just because I have this general idea in my head of how fucking obnoxious morning people are. Mm. Because they just act like they fucking own the world. Do I? I this is a generalization. This is a stereotype. Mm. Well, it's like if you meet up with someone and they're just like overly happy, then the you know yeah, they're they got like, that, oh, got up at six thirty. Is that them. bad? Got up at six thirty, went to the gym, and wait, it, where's the bad part here? That's what I'm saying. It's annoying because they they feel like they're better than they act like they're better than you. I think the problem is people are jealous of them getting up early. That's what I. What's that's the, what I'm saying. So I should listen to them because uh, they annoy me. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like that's yeah. Well, you and, can't really rub it in someone's face if you're up later than them because they're asleep. Well, yeah. <laughs> Whereas if you're up earlier than someone, then they wake <laughs> up and you're like, oh, been to the gym, done all this and that. But then it's not like you're gonna like barge into someone's room at two a.m. being like, ha, huh, since you went to bed at eleven p.m., I played three games of Smash. I've streamed a little bit. I had a coffee. Yeah, like, I mean, there's undoubtedly you can benefits tell them in the morning. to both. 
Uh, it's just that the benefits to being an evening person aren't as socially acceptable. Okay. And what are the as, benefits? Well, like, for example, if you wake up at six o'clock every day. I am. And, yeah, 6 a.m. Yeah. every day. Yeah. And that's like a pretty standard normal person wake up time, right? If you want to be super productive. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, and you want to go to a social event that goes until 1 a.m., 2 a.m., which is oh, not you're unreasonable. Fucked. You're fucked. Don't go to social events. Yeah, but like <laughs> social events are, are good for most people, not you. But, you know, no, it's like... Are they? No, but people... I know Peter, Peter's definitely... I've noticed this as well. People love to talk about the time that they wake up compared to like the hours slept. It's yeah. just like everyone sleeping mm. eight hours be like, I woke up at five o'clock, but it's like you're in bed by 8 p.m. Yeah. It's just not... It's not mm. like you're like, you don't sleep. We, you just you have the same number time. of waking yeah. hours, you know? Yeah. It's just like where, when you choose to use them. Yeah, I guess so. And so like if you find nighttime peaceful mm. and enjoyable and you think there are interesting things on a night like shows yeah. and movies and social events, power to you. That's awesome. Yeah. Whereas morning people are like, they value the crisp time in the morning where it's quiet and the sun's up and it's a great time to do exercise mm. and go to the beach and be productive before work. So yeah. there's benefits to both, but I've always thought the morning people just act like it's the right way to be. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. I'd say the only main negative is like you wake up and it's already like 1 p.m. And then like you're up from 7 to 3 and it's just night the whole time. And it's yeah. Just, you're just alone and it's dark. Look, I'm not here to shit on anyone's you know? opinions, but I'm giving the morning person <laughs> thing a try. Okay. Yeah. I'm giving it a crack. I well, think you might like it. Yeah, I've, I've been enjoying it so far. I went to the gym before recording today. That's weird. Pretty oh. insane. How do you feel now? You probably feel very alive. My legs hurt. <laughs> but do you feel better? You surely feel so I awake. I feel fine. I, no, like, get I feel out of a here. lot better than if I... Peter, work. we're looking for you to say you feel alive. <laughs> if, I, if I've dragged myself out of bed and driven to underdogs like I might without, without like eating breakfast because I haven't left time for it because I was like, staying up late. Is this what you used to do? Yeah. Yeah, you feel it, better. I feel right? much better now. How I'll feel at the end of the day's recording... Is tight. Is another question. And that's, that's true. Could you go to bedtime? Because I might feel worse because it'll be closer to my bedtime. Surely. Good so, on you, Peter. I appreciate this respect. new change for this you. Is, this is my my thing for the year. And I found that it makes going to the gym easier. If you're having trouble motivating, this is why I was talking about it. Because it, it becomes part of your routine. And it's much easier to build habits when they're part of your routine. Oh, I don't really want to go to the gym in the morning, though. Wait, why, well, why is it not? not part of your routine? Uh, I just don't like the idea behind that. And that's when I plan to. That's when I plan to do my like walks and runs with Ollie, but then also too many people. There's less people in the morning than there are in the afternoon. What? At least at my gym. Oh fuck! I'll have to uh, rethink. Wasn't my the same days. when I went, but it probably just depends on the gym. I guess the this is this is the genius part that's motivated me to go. Is use my coffee addiction as a motivator to go to the gym, because there's a coffee shop right outside the gym. It's literally basically like attached to it. Yeah. And I wake up in the morning and I want to get a coffee. The coffee shop's at the gym. Genius. So I go to the gym, do my thing, get my coffee on the way out, and then have my breakfast. And so now it's part of my Ooh. routine. And so I've been finding it easier to go for at least this week. We'll Pro have to see if it sticks. Protein powder in the coffee? <laughs> no, no, not yet. That Why sounds not? fucking disgusting. What about what about a caffeine protein shake? A lot of people do do stuff like that, yeah, like wow. a protein uh, smoothie. Yeah, you can get them from the cafes. Is there and something stuff. a pre-workout? What's yeah, I don't really like pre-workout, but that makes me feel like I'm gonna die. I haven't had it before, but it's basically just caffeine powder. Maddie has pre-workout, and it's like fucking so sweet and so caffeinated. Mm. It's uh, ridiculous. Uh, well, I don't think it works either. It makes me feel so sick, but that's just me, maybe. I, I definitely tummy. see the point. I, I was talking to Sophie's brother about this the other day because I asked him. I was like, "What's the point of pre-workout?" Yeah. And he's like, "It definitely makes it so you can do more exercise." In the time you have allotted to you. Uh, I don't find it does for me. For, for him, at yeah, least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I assume that makes you have a... <laughs> finny tummy. Yeah, finny tummy. <laughs> and I feel like very jittery and uh, it doesn't... I assume it amps people up, but yeah. caffeine doesn't really amp me up anymore. It kind of just makes me feel like... Oh, God. Sickly and nervous. See, You're Maddie, <laughs> Maddie will, like, usually crash in the afternoons because she wakes up early. Yeah. So, like, she'll feel tired a lot earlier than me. Uh, and then, so she takes her pre-workout and then like, that'll make her like good for volleyball. But then after that, she'll probably be she like even pre-workout for volleyball? Uh, yeah. Oh my God. What are you my, trying to say, man? My little tummy. <laughs> <laughs> True jumping yeah, up Jack, and down. Uh, Jackson is a bit of a sensitive soul compared to the rest of us, I Call think. Call me IBS, man. <laughs> IBS, man. <laughs> no, I don't I think was, I have IBS. I was pretty good nice leaving, uh, yeah. It's not good sometimes. It that can be distressing. Brutal. So, yeah, I don't know. Caffeine powder for me, not going to work. Uh, it's also got other stuff in it, though. It's not just caffeine. Yeah, I think it's mostly the caffeine that people enjoy, though. 
Yeah. Gets you, what amps, amps you up? I, yeah. I, I, was, I, I was talking to someone and they were saying they have one that isn't just, it, it's got no caffeine and it's just vasodilators, uh-huh. which makes your like veins widen to increase blood flow. Oh, that sounds Holy good. shit. So that like- That sounds crazy. Wait, can't you, they're can natural things. See? They're natural oh. things. They're not like f- fucking hard drugs. I was just like, imagine someone takes it and you start seeing them swell. No, no, no. It just, it's it, it'll increase blood flow to your muscles. And it's obviously not something oh. you want to do permanently, but like for the purposes of a workout, it'll give you more power. Does that it make you more exhausted like- quicker though? It might, but for the gym, you want to get exhausted as quickly as you can. Yeah, you want to be there. Kind of the point. What did you think would happen, Jordan? They just like start inflating. <laughs> yeah, they like just Violet start Beauregard, Beauregard and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that a blue, they're red. It's just yeah, they ball become bones. the ball. That could be bad for sport, though, right? You'd be like, <gasps> a lot of these I'm things so are damaged. dangerous when you raise your heart rate, especially caffeine. Jackson, what amps you up? Music. Oh yeah. Oh, you listen to some bangers. Yeah, you bangers workout. get me going. Uh, do you listen bangers? to very different music depending on your different moods? A hundred percent. Yeah. All based on I the do, mood. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Jordan, the jazz man, the, the French jet. jazz. Yeah, yeah. No French. Yeah, French. French jazz. breakfast music. French music. French music. <laughs> <laughs> History of Japanese jazz. <laughs> yes, Jordan. The music that video is not out yet. Yeah, it'll, stay it'll tuned come, it'll for come. Underdogs TED oh, Talks too. Should we go over a lot of the stuff that we missed? Uh, on the last podcast since in our new segment since last the year zoos. In our <laughs> tune in to the zoos it's not no, the sorry, can we do a real intro I don't understand what it's this segment is it's not the zoos it's yeah. the Zach News it's oh the zoos zoos no, tune it's in be to like the Zach News <laughs> coming at you live from the underdog studio Perth Australia you're listening to zoos Zach News zoos 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 Good evening, everyone. <laughs> well, my name is Zach, and welcome to the Zach News, otherwise Zoos. known as Zoos. Zoos. Uh, Zoos. Zoos. In today's news, since last year, uh, Andrew Tate got arrested for eating pizza. <laughs> no, not not for eating Wait, pizza, sh- but he got arrested, and the reason was he ate pizza. Pe- the reason they caught him was. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear about this? Did you not become a journalist? We, okay, we, <laughs> did you guys hear about this? Yes. Should we first say that uh, Jackson, Zach was like, we should talk about everything that's happened. Jackson, I was like, we don't know anything about it. So Zach was uh, like, yeah. we'll have a- I'll, Zach's going to educate yeah, us. Yeah, Zach's oh, going to let us know. We, I gave, I gave the funny points bit. without the context. I do know about this, yeah. Okay, Peter knows. Jackson, I don't know much. I saw that Greta Thunberg, who's someone who likes- Yeah, so you do No, know. doesn't like climate stuff. Well, she Ned. likes climate stuff, just not bad climate stuff. But she doesn't like the bad climate stuff, and I know that... You surely could have said better she, than like climate she, stuff. There was like a pizza box, and then she said you should have recycled. I thought this recycled. was the Zach news. It's not, sorry, the, it's not, the, not the Jews, mate. <laughs> Holy fuck, you guys both suck at telling the news. <laughs> no, I just didn't... My turn. I so don't... like, Greta ain't cheese. <laughs> okay, go on. So what happened? Greta and Andrew Tate, it all kicked off when they had a bit of Twitter drama. Yeah. Andrew Tate, out of nowhere, posted a tweet where he... He was like, check out my 34 sports cars, Lambos, and all these emissions. Tagged Greta Thunberg. Like, check they were a bit of a dick move, wasn't I don't, it? I don't think they've met before, but he was just like, check out these emissions. Did he actually say that? Well, yeah. he, he was like, I don't care about emissions. Check out my Bugatti, you yeah. know? That and always like, is the weirdest thing to me when people brag about emissions. Breaking the environment. Yeah, it's pretty like of a weird flex. Break the environment if you want to. That's your prerogative. Why do you brag about it? Go on. Yeah. Sorry. And then she replies with like, because uh, he, he asked for her email and she was like, my email is smalldickenergy at getalife.com. Yeah, no, it was and like that very was the, cool. Please possibly send Possibly the this. largest ratio in Twitter. That's true. Story. I think she got a few million likes on that and his had like a few hundred thousand. Yeah, what do you rate, pretty Jordan? viral. How huh? you rate the news so far? Great, great. Right, it's very going. interesting. Although I do got to say, I, uh, to play devil's advocate here. Co-host. She said her own email yeah. was I have a small dick at getalife.com. She's like, that's my email. I see you're an agitated that is pretty funny. Classic P. Yeah, but like <laughs> Mr. Rightwing. <laughs> I feel like the idea was there. No one really thought she was calling herself out for having a small dick. I know, but it's it, it the the people were saying it's like the best mm. bird in history. Ah. No, she's saying send it to get a life at no one cares. Yeah, but she's whatever. saying that's my email. Reply to me yeah. at I have a small dick. But is she saying that because it's actually not her email? It's like someone saying like, hey, do you want to come over to my house at I have a small dick road? It's a fake email actually, yeah, Peter. Yeah, it's, that's right. That's It's a joke, Peter. So it's like, it's like sending Peter, someone- have you heard of humour? It's like giving someone a fake number. And then it's just a also, fake email. Yeah. You'd sort of hope that Greta Thunberg had small dick energy. Did you, did you? No, it was. I have a small dick. No, it was small dick energy. Was it? They were getting bogged yeah. up, boys. <laughs> anyway, getting up. anyway, the whole thing Peter was talking about, where it was a bit, you know, she said it was her own. I email. think girls can have big Andrew, dick energy. Andrew Tate latched onto that exactly as Peter did. 
So quite a like you too. Yeah, and he, right he made a video reply, oh, which was like, Peter. Shut the fuck up. Actually, you probably got this is the news. Yeah, but anyway. the problem with news is I like to watch it and talk over the top. Well, yeah, we're, we're okay. yeah, so yeah, writing you commentary. Keep saying, and then we will talk. <laughs> yeah, you okay. can pretend you're the no, TV. You know, and Zach says yeah, a sentence. Free. We hit pause on the remote. Yeah, okay. And then we discuss We discuss. It. Like Google box. It, Play. Pause like, at any point. Play. So Andrew Tate has responded to that with an entire two-minute video where he's tried to look cool and turn it back on her by saying that she was saying it was her own email. Pause. Just like Peter. Just like Peter. Yeah. Play. And also, oh, and pause, pause. Oh. And he it was also trying way too hard. He's like sitting in his like robe or something, smoking a cigar, holding a pizza box. It's like, you're trying a little bit too hard to look Peter, cool. you don't one. know that yet. The news hasn't you said bitch, it. you didn't say, I, I've already watched it. I'm aware of the news. Yeah. Play. Hang on, pause. Peter, <laughs> you should start doing this if you get in a Twitter argument now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In holding a robe a pizza and a box, cigar. Cigar. That is I, his whole bit though, right? I've what? never smoked that a cigar. That he's like over the top. Andrew Tate? Yeah. No, he's, he doesn't do it ironically though. Are you sure? I, maybe he's reading pretty deep though play the, you already said it he was in a robe with a cigar and oh, then we've he, already heard this and then he gets uh, pizza I'm very delivered and that was how the Romanian authorities knew that he was in the country because it was a Romanian pizza chain that's good and they needed that evidence to go to his house like now that they knew that he was in the country and arrest him for human trafficking holy Charges. shit what pause uh, human trafficking again to play. Holy I, crap! I'm a bit afraid. Peter, this is your mate. What yeah, human no. trafficking? <laughs> obviously, so I have to defend him here. Yeah, yeah, he's my yeah. mate. Yes. Obviously, as we all know, I am young Andrew Tate. Yes, apparently, yes. Apparently, th- uh, there's like a, this is all Twitter potentially fake news type stuff. Yeah, I think they probably knew he was in the country already, and this might be this pizza box thing might actually be spin. Well, don't, well, to make how does the pizza stupid. box actually help? No, well, don't it's, you it's a Romanian pizza joint. So, no, but how does that? So they knew his address already. Yeah. And they just needed confirmation he was in the country to be able to... You need a warrant for his arrest, Invade his right? house. It's oh. like how you might know that someone killed someone, but you need the evidence to be able to arrest them. Otherwise, you can't just arrest them. That's evidence to arrest. So you need no, evidence No, but it's evidence that he's, that he's, that he's in the country, which You can't is all just they storm needed. someone's house and be like... If they went and knocked on the door and said, is Andrew here? They'd just say no. Yeah. Oh. But this was like... He what is, do they have binoculars? Yeah, yeah okay. Oh ah, anyway, Jordan in the police force. Play... Uh, that's it. Next story. I was just, yeah. The zoos. Next Wait, story. are we not no. going to talk about the human yeah, trafficking what about part? The that's probably the big part, that? right? Yeah, he's done some potentially Did very he... questionable stuff. How are you still friends with him? Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't <laughs> know, so dude. So question your friendship. What is he- so human trafficking, is that when you're like, oh, this you chick's- own people. This chick's 13, do you want to bang? And then they send uh, that's probably That's yeah. sex that's trafficking. That's harder. That's oh. worse because that's child sex What's the trafficking? other thing then? Just humans, hu- owning humans, basically. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's more like, you know, moving people from country to country in illegal ways. But why? Oh, interesting. It's very awful. But why? Well, people will pay. So, like, let's say you live in a bad country. You want to move to a good country. Yeah. So, you pay to For get a better out. way of life. You pay someone to illegally... Like, that's like smuggle you into a country so he's kind of a I hero. think I could be slightly wrong here no but you, you people who are two human traffickers <laughs> you should tweet that Jordan <laughs> Andrew Tate is a hero for human trafficking is it though? you're sounding like okay okay so Jim is in yeah, a war torn country let me just country. warn you we are not experts on this scenario so yeah. we're probably no, no, getting no, Jordan, it wrong Jordan I think okay, just okay. B- before you run through your ideology here uh, <laughs> yeah. often they do it in very uh, bad ways like taking people's money and then putting, like, they say, we'll get, like, I don't know, take $3,000. This person saves up for years to get that. Yeah. And they get put in shitty conditions on a boat, with which might even not even make it. And they might fucking have the worst conditions ever. But they are paying for it. It is worth yeah, it Yeah, but it's them. not, it's not legal either. Mm. It, it, it's a complicated okay, it's topic. a bit of Robin Hood about it. Mm. I, I, I be, <laughs> let me, I'm going to Google human trafficking because I'm really, aff- I really hate that I, I sound so stupid on the podcast. I think it's I'm wrong. pretty sure it's owning yeah, people. Yeah, I thought it was that as well, like slave... I don't know. That like sounds illegal worse. Slavery. That yeah. sounds worse. The whole you're in a war torn country and we'll pay to get you out doesn't sound as bad. Hmm. It doesn't sound bad at all. Uh, like human trafficking d- is the recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring, or receipt of people through force, fraud, or deception. Hmm. So it is like moving people or harboring people. It's like moving people around, but that's why it's through force, I'd fraud, love to or know deception. The reasons, but. So you, story for another you time. stand in no one's camp at the moment. You might be on Team Tate, but you need yeah. to know more. Strongly, he could have saved millions. I'm strongly I against Tate. I don't think Peter's getting that quite right. That is a no Tate. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. Well, I just read you the No, Google. but like, I still think that's he's owning these people. Well, it says part um, of these. Adults or children can be trafficked or enslaved what and forced to sell their them? bodies for sex. So like, 
I think they often go hand in hand, but right. trafficking isn't the enslaver part, but they all often go together. Yeah, okay. Does I that make sense? They do that yeah. in China. Because if you think about North it, if you've, if you've done this illegal thing of trying to move country under someone like illegally, yeah. you have absolutely no leverage against yeah. them. She's because they'll say, out. well, I'll just turn you into the authorities if you don't know what I say. Yeah. Because, and then they take advantage of these people. So like, I think it would often go hand in hand. Yeah, sure. This is not the direction I thought this would go. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? I you thought it was- you brought up Andrew Tate and human trafficking on the zoos. What do you yeah. think is going to happen? Well, it seems a bit supportive of Andrew Tate. Well, I thought he was an, a, a fucking dickhead I don't know before. The details. He's a bit of an idiot. I mean, and and then story. human trafficking. He sucks. Just like, I'm on the he sucks. Human cab. trafficking has surely not improved his case no. in anyone's mind. No, I well, don't think that. Jordan. Well, he could be a hero. Okay. All right. Maybe. Any more that, on the that, zoos? That's, that's your last thing. Hey, oh, uh, hey, I've got to. I've got to stop you there, Zach, because. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Silencing people who have an opposing position is the worst thing you can do in a debate like this. You know what yeah, I mean? I don't know if you've heard yeah, his okay. New Year's resolution, but if you disagree, you should probably be learning something from. It's true. <laughs> if Jordan annoys me when he says Andrew Tate could be a hero, I could be learning <laughs> it's true, something. Because then, yeah. if you think about that very paper. hard, because mm. through through the discussion of Jordan saying that you've learned what human trafficking is, which is undoubtedly a good thing to learn. You're more educated on this topic, and you look like a smarter person to the audience. I well, somehow respect. feel less educated on this topic. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know the uh, the whole thing of like uh, unconscious competence and conscious yeah. competence. You've now fallen off the unconscious yeah. incompetence yeah. to the conscious incompetence. What the fuck? This is a very self improvement podcast. So I I, I'm on the self improvement train. I got to say that's that's, that's all my whole. Th- what I'm saying, Zach, is okay. Think about it in the context of learning to drive. Before you ever started learning how to drive, yep. you didn't know you were very bad at it. You know, you were just like, oh yeah, I'd be all right at driving. No, saying this is necessarily true for everyone, but this is just an example. So you're unconsciously incompetent. Like you would be bad. Sorry, I've, I've not listened very well. I was right. just thinking of when you said you're driving. You're consciously incompetent, no, I, I was think. thinking of tra- you're thinking <laughs> about driving your truck, weren't you? No, no, I was thinking of trafficking and wondering if there's human traffic lights. <laughs> yeah, it is human trafficking, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Can I resume the zoos? Yeah, yes. I, I, I want to finish story? this talk. Can I finish okay, this talk? Okay. Yeah. Um, so like at first, you don't know you're bad at something. So like if you want to learn an instrument or learn to drive a car, you don't really realize how hard it is. Mm-hmm. And then you get like, this could be like chess. At first, you're learning chess. This is a great oh, example for chess. you. Yeah, chess, chess, chess. <laughs> yeah, <I'm in. laughs> at first, you'll probably be like, oh, I'm pretty good at chess. And then you played Jackson last week yeah. and he kind of trounced you. No yeah, offense. Yeah, yeah. And then you learned that you had a lot more to learn. Mm. So before you were incompetent, but un- un- unaware of that. Mm. Now you're still incompetent, but you're aware of that. Which is way and better. And this starts your improvement. And then you become competent and aware of that. Yeah. So, And then at the very end, you're competent and it becomes second nature. And now you're unaware of how competent you are. Uh, yeah. So I'd say for driving, we're all in the stage, that final stage yeah. of unconscious competence. Yeah. And when you just learnt and then you're pretty good, you're consciously competent and so it's like this thing so you know you're, yeah, Jackson's like now it. reached through this thing of human trafficking you know you are aware that you don't know what human trafficking is which ah. made you feel more well, stupid well I actually think I do know what human trafficking is but you, I think so you realise there's start learning. more to it yeah and what's the best way to learn by doing <laughs> <laughs> sorry I'm taking I'm taking the pod too seriously today juice. just keep saying stupid no shit way, the zoos alright uh, next zoos. up in the zoos Logan Paul no no oh. more moral things here we go Logan Paul like opened what? a zoo or something I missed this one and, and he paid for it using crypto coins the zoo's on the zoo wait what? he made a zoo no I'm just being a shit journalist that's not what happened at all okay Logan Paul what? created an app called crypto zoo that was meant to be like you buy his crypto and then you get eggs and then the eggs hatch into like an, a photo of an elephant which is an nft and then you can breed your photo of an elephant with a photo of a penguin so and get like an elephant penguin. Okay. <laughs> How are you not Jordan, following just this? Think, just listen. <laughs> Stop. Like, put your suspension Jordan, disbelief for a it's minute. It's an app where you buy NFTs. You know those when it's like, ah, oh, grandpa, come on. Yeah. It's so easy to turn on the TV. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's you right now. So you get an NFT and you breed it, Jordan. There's an egg. There's an elephant it's penguin. Like, it's like an app game, but all of the animals you hatch have like it's a game. an NFT attached. And you have to yes. pay for these eggs. Yes. It's like loot box <laughs> NFTs. Exactly. It's okay. John just whispering to himself, it's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. <laughs> Don't let him tell I you still otherwise. So NFT is like something that's expensive for no No, no, no. An <laughs> NFT is like a picture that has some kind of Value. blockchain attached to it so that it can't be like forged. So it's like you can own the one copy of that picture and then that has money value. Why? 
it's like it's if connected a, to a crypto. If an art, I don't know about that. It's a way of making an online thing unique, like a real art piece. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Anyway, I get it. I get it. so yep. you have these unique things in this game, like a photo of an elephant and a photo of a penguin. And it's just your you elephant can, penguin. Yeah, you can breed them to get like an elephant penguin, Ella peng, Elleguin, or whatever the mm. fuck. Penfant. And then the more, <laughs> the more rare your like breeded things are, they're like worth more money. So that's the structure of the game. Anyway, they got a bunch of people to invest in this game, and then a lot of them can't hatch their eggs. They like didn't receive their eggs. All this like. So the game didn't work. Can yeah, I not just program and then, it? And then Update. they were like trying to fix it for a while, but it's been like a year and a half. And oh. <laughs> there's like so there's people that have invested like a lot of money in this thing. How much to, money? Are we trying to like about? invest and make money. Oh, probably in the tens of thousands for some oh. people. Yeah, and then that it's like rough. all the people Logan was working with were like dodgy and have done scams before, and there's like leaked DMs of them all just being a big like. So basically, uh, Logan Paul's cancelled again, and then he, yeah, he no. uploaded a response video, which he oh. deleted right afterwards. Which he deleted shortly afterwards because he didn't take any accountability, and he came after what a mess. Coffee, everyone else. Coffeezilla was the YouTuber that yeah, made the dude, first. Coffeezilla does expose. really great work. Yeah. I gotta say, Coffeezilla makes great videos. It's a documentary. It, it's kind someone of. very it's high like, like a commentary exposing things where he like researched something for a long time and interview people and talk to people and make these big expose videos on people. Like journalistic. Like the very journalistic. Guy. He cool. takes a very journalistic oh, angle. That's very cool. Even with his presentation. Wow. So Logan Paul got clowned on in the comments <laughs> when he took no accountability. Yeah. Uh, deleted that. And then I think his next response took a bit more accountability. Right. But maybe... I don't, oh, he's got like one final response, which I actually haven't seen yet. But the whole thing is just like people brought up other stuff about like how Logan bought this teacup pig. Uh, a couple of years ago that ended up growing into a huge pig. That's the photo I keep seeing on Twitter. Yeah. I, I just scroll past I it every time. Is this a game it's, or is this a real pig? This is a real this is pig. A real pig. A real pig. <laughs> this is why yeah, I was confused I was, I originally. Was, teacup is just means small pig. But yep. this one's yeah. not. But then there was, like a, there was a post from the people that like ended up this quite sad finding the like big pig <laughs> dead in a field with like uh, some like bad stuff that had happened to it wait, and they wait, said like wait, wait, this mini what? pig was perched I'm not explaining everything in the world you know what a pig is John you really eat them fuck off just <laughs> listen so one pig's dead just listen okay go on he bought a mini pig <laughs> And then it was found dead a couple years later. Oh, no, pause, pause. Pig. Dude, the oh, news is pretty no. abrasive tonight. <laughs> the newsman's kind of a dick. <laughs> Screaming at the audience. <laughs> no, yeah, but the problem is is that normally a news anchor can't hear the audience yeah. being confused. Shut up, you <laughs> cowards! <laughs> and that's just like, the zoos is filmed in front of a live studio audience <laughs> and people just all have microphones in the audience. They're like, oh, I didn't get that part about the teacup pig. Does it actually fit small? in the teacup? Or does it fit in more like, a mug. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> uh, play. So he bought a mini pig. <laughs> I think I wrote news anchors repeating himself. I already heard this part. And he got it as a pet and was like posting cute photos with it. Right, so he got a pet and then pig. Yep. The people that found it dead were the people that like had originally sold the pig to him and then they said like oh, it was sold to an influencer. A lot of people buy these mini pigs not realising that they're actually going to get like quite big later in their life yeah. and then he got <laughs> it got ace cameras it was Sorry. like a pet that the, it was a pet that he then abandoned turns out quite there's no different. such thing as a teacup pig it's just a baby pig that's so right yeah. so they scammed him no everyone knows that you I, should what? know that before you buy one yeah that's true oh, um wow. hey zach can i ask him, uh, can you turn on the aircon in here i'm getting really oh, fucking yeah. stanky wow this is crazy sure thing. This is a crazy it's day. a hot room in here in the zeus, yeah. the zeus yeah. it's, it's really heating up the on the zeus isn't it it's getting heated um, right. <laughs> Jackson just noted that I had chess.com app open oh, on my wow. phone. What's your rating? What's your rating? Uh, almost 600, like five, oh, wow. 580. It's pretty you good. started way better than me. I was oh, like really? 400 or something. Yeah. Zach's watched a couple YouTube tutorials already. Oh. I'll give you the, I'll give you the five second chess update every week, guys. All right. All so right. This, One this week I'm trying to get better at not stalemating every single end game. Nice. Good call. That's hard. It's only four call. seconds. Let's go, Zach. Yeah. Last week you, you said six seconds next week. I said That's better than I usually do. You should get on chess.com and he said, not until I'm going to be ranked 1000 oh that's a long time that's impossible right yeah. do you reckon impossible unless to play got, against maddie well, unless you were playing unless you got books guys or, i don't i don't think the zoos yeah, had finished know. oh sorry, sorry. Play. oh wait shit no I we forgot, never paused i forgot my last zoos. zoos yeah what about i actually have a train in that uh Anything there hasn't news? been any 
notable things in the news that I've noticed for that. Oh, wow. It's it's not the Jews, it's the zoos. The Shut zoos. up. I watched The Pianist the other day. Well, Shut up. Oh, okay. no, I, I remember the last zoos. <laughs> we're, listen, we're watching the zoos. <laughs> Shut up. Play. Uh, so Alan, Alan went oh, on a yeah. podcast from Panda. Dr. Alan, the Alan. C, former CEO of Panda, which I am also formally... Sponsored by, yeah, a part of Panda, formerly. Uh, so he went on the Visionaries podcast with Jacob Wolf, and they sort of interviewed him about his side of the story. Uh, it was a lot of what he said in the statement. The one big thing that I sort of got from it was that he said that he knew Smash World Tour was going to be shut down from way, way earlier, mm. which I don't think yes. he said at first. Um and the other thing that he sort of went over is that, like, VG Boot Camp had been in talks with Nintendo before. And, like, n like Nintendo said, don't run a circuit, don't put Smash in the title of your events, and, like, don't do anything we don't say. And then they said, like, don't run Smash World Tour. And, and then they this, did. Is, this is according to Dr. Allen. And then they went ahead and did it. And then at the very end of the circuit, their championship got cancelled. And I'm a little bit, like... You probably should have seen this coming, but I also think this is my opinion on it. Mm. Not the zoos anymore. Oh, the zoos. Not facts. Pause. Pause. Oh, Zach, zoos. welcome to the room. We're just watching the zoos. <laughs> They're doing about Dr. Allen. Would you like to give your opinion? Oh man, that news anchor's fucking hot, isn't he? No. All right. Well, maybe after his fitness video. <laughs> <laughs> um. So my opinion is that if Alan knew this so early, he definitely should have probably taken the side of the community rather than continuing to work with Nintendo or given like. Well, like, a, if you're going to cancel this championship, then, you know, like, Panda shouldn't have worked with Nintendo while it was all happening. But also, if Smash World Tour knew, like, like, let's be honest, if they were in talks with Nintendo and they said no and then they ran their championship anyway, that, can they really be surprised that it got shut down? Yeah. Well, it's hot take, is he not on the side of the community then if he's like, well, what we're running isn't going to get shut down? Yeah, I think it just, it well, just looks bad still. Like, Nintendo shouldn't have shut down now. Smash World Tour and Alan should have been, like... Take a stand. Everyone's Mate. everyone mm. thinks they're the good guy in their own story, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it seems like this is just a bunch of people trying to be the good guy and yep. it just didn't work yep. because Nintendo is the bad guy. Yeah. And that's what I talked about when we talked about it a couple of weeks ago. Is, is Nintendo the bad guy? Here's yeah. a hot take. All right, go for it. They're, they're it's their IP. You can do whatever they want with it. They told, they were, I felt like they were pretty upfront with everyone mm -hmm. and they chose to just do it anyway. Yeah. Uh, yes, they should just be relaxed with their game. They're not. We should play a new game. Look, yeah. honest, I'm saying it definitely would have worked out for Panda's uh, representation in the community, like how people saw Panda and yeah. Alan and the Panda Cup if they didn't continue to work with Nintendo mm -hmm. after knowing this. Yeah. I'm not, you know, like it might have been better for the Smash scene if we had at least one circuit. Yeah. But, like, Panda should, uh, Panda and Alan should have also seen this coming. Mm -hmm. You know, Nintendo cancels the opposite tournament. Everyone's going to throw blame at the one associated with Nintendo. Yep. If you couldn't see that coming, like. I think I the moral of the story, I, th I think I saw someone retweet oh, this. Sorry, can I just reiterate? I obviously knew nothing about yeah, Smash World Tour. Yeah, we all know that. Yeah. Everyone, I hope everyone. I know. Just if I actually do see some stupid time. commenters on some of your videos, not the podcast, but some of your videos, we'll be like, why is he wearing a panda hat? And it's like, bro, this was recorded three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, chill the fuck out. Man, Underdogs videos, I've got a panda cap coming out yeah. in like two months. In the golf video, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you were. Whoops. And dude, on the day of that golf video, that was the day that this stuff card yeah. started oh, coming really? out. <laughs> And I was like, Zach, you sure you want to be wearing that hat? And you're like, it's, it'll all blow over soon. <laughs> yeah, we're all <laughs> joking about it on yeah, the day. Yeah, because we didn't realize. a lot of information. Yeah, we didn't actually nothing. Yeah. That was the very out. first day. But I think I think I saw someone, and I can't credit them because I don't remember who saw it. I just saw it in passing. But they basically retweeted the thing of the podcast that he went on yeah. and said, like, no matter whose side you go on, I think that the moral of the story is that working with Nintendo is just not the play. It doesn't work. It's yeah. just like, and people have always seen it as a, like a great thing to look up to and a goal for Smash tournaments. Yeah. Like we've got Nintendo support. We've got their license. This is amazing. It just doesn't seem to ever work. No, it's so sad, hey? Yeah. And it's like, all right, let's just stick with grassroots stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. so so fucking what? Like they're not going to support us. They're going to give us private money. They never have. Yeah. We're still here. Yeah. It's not going to happen. And when it does happen, it goes to complete hell. Yeah. Like yeah, every time. Much. I feel like, I feel like it was close to actually being something good. It sounds like they were going to shut this other opponent down from the start. Yeah, but like... So when was it ever going to be good? I don't know. I think Alan had hope that... His Panda, Panda one would be the, good. The no, Nintendo no, no. I think Panda that one. Nintendo would change their mind, is what oh. Alan hoped. Because <laughs> oh. I don't... Like, I know Alan. I don't think he had any ill will 
towards VG boot camp, like personally. Or the scene in general, yeah, right? Yeah, like I don't think Well, well obviously he, obviously he doesn't, loves Smash Bros. if he's yeah. trying to put on an entire He doesn't tournament. have the power to shut down Smash World Tour. I believe him that he was saying that like uh, Nintendo should change their decision and let Smash World Tour go ahead. I believe that, mm. but like, yeah, I don't know. Fucked I up. think that it's just a bunch of people looking to blame each other when everyone is probably not ill willed in any way. Yeah, probably. Or in some, everyone's ill willed in some slight ways. You know, there's no purely moral. Well, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but like, I don't think anyone set out to try and sabotage Smash. Yeah. Or sabotage each other events, it's except just, for Nintendo, probably. Yeah, that's but, why I'm saying they're the bad guy. But I, uh, yeah, like I said, I think they're pretty clear about that. I'm more talking from like a PR point of view. Mm. Yeah. Like if if you knew Smash World Tour was going to sh- be shut down. And you're like, let's run the Panda Cup still with Nintendo. And then, like, you know that when that gets shut down by Nintendo, everyone's going to fucking hate Nintendo. Probably by association, hate Panda. Look, that's exactly what happened. Probably should have been able to see that coming and just been like... I feel like the Smash community is a very grassroots-minded community. They want everyone to be the same, but... And the same token they also want it to be very competitive and like a business and that mm. doesn't really work yeah you can't run a business like a grassroots thing because yeah. Yeah. you can't look out for everyone that's well, just not how business works you would know from running tournaments for so long yeah like you're probably an expert in this because like you know when you guys ran big win smash like you made money you gave back to the community and then people took advantage of that yeah people weren't happy people, people weren't happy with the way it. you did things yeah. people took advantage of the system yeah people tried to like scam each other and yeah do to be selfish and it's yeah. like <laughs> You need <laughs> it's 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 grim yeah. because like you're trying to run it like a grassroots thing, not like a business. Yeah. You're trying not to take advantage of everyone, yeah. you're not trying to make money. And then the people try to take advantage of you. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, so it's bad. So ridiculous. So if you ran it like a business and you are more harsh and you had more rules yeah. and you were trying to make money, you protect yourself from people like that. Yeah. It's it's grim. It's just the way it kind of is, and Smash is always stuck in this weird limbo between both of them. It's just never mm. gonna work out, I feel yeah. like. I don't know if this is just a thing in Perth because we have a smaller scene, mm. but it's definitely like there's a half life on TOs. Like there's a, <laughs> there's a point where TOs realize how not worth it is to run tournaments, at least because there's no money in Smash tournaments in Perth. Like if we broadcast a tournament, it's not going to get the revenue and the sponsors that it, like a large American tournament. I will say that TOs more recently have started, because you always used to be $10, but now they charge $15. Yeah, and they to take, take money. $5. Yeah, they actually yeah. get paid which now. Is, yeah. Which is great. That's what we should have been doing, but everyone would have been like $15 Everyone's greedy. For some reason, Dude, yeah. there was a huge uh, fuss kicked around when we changed from 5 to 10 Yeah. I remember I was on the side of this is bullshit Yeah, because I was so <laughs> cheap and yeah. poor at yeah. the time. Like, I get it, you know? Like, but I was compared there. Compared to any other sport or anything where you're you paying the referees, no one gets any money yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah. It's all a business. <laughs> it's funny. I think back to Cafe Muriel and it was free play. It's like, you have to buy a drink. And we're like, what? No. Yeah. Buy a drink? <laughs> 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 I, let me tell the back of this. It'll take, it'll take two seconds. But <laughs> they had this thing called Free Play Friday. You just go and play friendlies on their setups. They had four setups with Smash. At a cafe. At a in cafe. The city. Yep. In the city. Obviously, high rent. It's a, like a board game cafe yeah. with like video games and stuff. And people would just go there and play friendlies. It was a great meeting place yeah. for people to go and practice competitive matches in like yeah. a really chill, fun environment. Yeah. Honestly, like some of my best competitive Smash memories yeah. were this one. And they had to make an official statement saying, at least buy one drink. Because of course you're Smash sitting players, here right? for five hours yeah. playing games on their rent. And people would be like, I can't afford an ice chocolate. Yeah. I'm just going to sit here and bum around for five hours and take advantage Probably of the system. Probably bringing like a fucking frozen Coke or something. Yeah, bullshit, like so. <laughs> for the $1 yeah. frozen Coke from Walking the fucking... Walking across the Domino's. Macca's down the road, yeah. I'm not eventually, gonna... the cafe did get shut down. And then, yeah, yeah went out of business eventually. And they, they shut down Free Play Friday and then they went out of business shortly after. Yeah. And it's like, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? Yeah, but even then I was like, oh, I'm not going anymore. I have to buy a drink. Really? You know I was always on the buy a drink team. You know what I it just is, left, though. stopped going because I was like, oh, it's too expensive. But looking back on it, what an idiot. There's a correlation here, though, because, like, the more Smash you play, the better you are at Smash. The people that go there are more, most likely the people that don't have full-time jobs. Yes. Because <laughs> yeah. you think now, we all have full-time jobs. We're and it's like Smash. Five bucks to go play Smash for five hours, bargain. Yeah. Fantastic yeah. deal. Five yeah. bucks, not really much when you're working full-time. Not to yeah. mention, it's also a coffee. It's, it's the free price of still. A it's yeah. the price of a, it's, you yeah. get a coffee still. You're not even paying $5 for the venue. But <laughs> yeah. even if they charge $5 to get in, which like... Which would be fine. It would have cut down the amount of people there by 75%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But And then there's like, 
once people get full time jobs, they start wanting to invest their time in other places, not so much competitive Smash. And a lot of people stop going to tournaments yeah. that when they hit that stage of their life. Also, you don't have time to play five hours of competitive Smash. But you, using that logic, the Smash scene will just perpetually be cheap. I like think it's more so just like because it already <laughs> is cheap, people don't want to see the change. But a lot of people who are young still play social sports, yeah, which are very expensive in comparison. Way yeah. more expensive. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think so. Their parents probably fund the social sports and not the Smash. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's true. And then like it's not your parents aren't going to pay for your Smash endeavors unless they're we extremely do, supportive. What about seasons for Smash? You know how they do like summer and winter season mm. sports? And instead of paying like... 20 bucks a week your parents play, pay like 300 bucks for the season yeah <laughs> so much just get money. that and, and when you do the off season sure like, get a job and then it's like you have <laughs> <laughs> you have to work at Macca's in your time off <laughs> no there's no off season oh genius oh bad news guys I gotta go to the toilet oh, so peace. Cool. Um, I, I, this is actually, I'll tell you guys about something I told Jackson the other week while he's gone oh, it's genius it brings us full circle here as well um, so I, I this is not a reflection of my algorithm, but I I saw a uh, Andrew Tate <laughs> short. How is it not? It's obviously a reflection because of Because I think it was because I was looking up this stuff, the Greta Thunberg stuff. Mm. Honestly, I get a lot of that stuff pop up in my I think a lot of people do. Because I watch UFC. Exactly. I think it's like the same like, circle. I'm not searching right-wing extreme viewpoints, but I'm saying this popped up. Can I just say something before you move on? The The reason why you'll get it, some like weird suggestion rabbit holes is because if I see an Andrew Tate TikTok... I'm not scrolling immediately. Mm. Like, I kind of want to see Curious. what he says because, like, half so the time you, you laugh more. at it. Like, you laugh at it. If it annoys you, you should watch it. It's like how you can watch bad movies and have a laugh at them. Except the algorithm is designed that watch time equals your favorite thing. Mm. When it could just be something you well, want to have. it's not like your favorite thing. It's what makes you, what what keeps makes you, you watching. Yeah. And so That's it's true. not wrong, yeah. But it's like... When people, like when you say, oh, my TikTok's all Andrew Tate, you could just be having a- I did not say that. <laughs> no, but like if you said that, you yeah. could be laughing at every single TikTok. Yeah. Like, what a fucking idiot. And that's the only thing you use it for. But everyone would think you're a right-wing supporter. Yeah, the algorithms are predatory, hey? Yeah. It's like when I talked about how I had my hot girl TikTok algorithm. I was like, fuck off. Like, Sometimes <laughs> you need to like purposely, yeah. every Change time it? you see that, scroll immediately. Yeah. Because I've had some like, some shit like keep popping up and I'm like, oh, I keep accidentally watching like 30 seconds. Of I started getting the Big Bang Theory shorts <laughs> and I would like, it's just like, I want to I want to get to the end. I want to see what happens. But then I had to start yeah. actively immediately swiping because the Big Bang Theory, it'd never be that satisfying. By the yeah. End. Anyway, sorry, no, Jackson, forget- you get to cop the story a second time. We didn't get there. Oh. Um, <laughs> it was a take that I was like, that's, I don't want to know what the other guys think of this take. And it was about how esports is a dangerous path to take. He didn't say bad. He said a dangerous path to follow because if you spend a thousand hours getting better at football or UFC or whatever other endeavors you choose to do to try and become elite at, let's say, you know, any, anything like that, like a traditional sport Rowing. or a traditional, yeah, a traditional thing, and you don't become top five in the world, you don't become elite level you've still gained a lot of things oh, yeah. like, you know, fitness athleticism. and athleticism and hard work and stuff. And he said, esports are a dangerous endeavor because if you don't reach this elite level, what have you gained from it? A video game addiction. No, I've, I've got something that uh, for sure. And that's why I want to know. I want to know like your take on it because I, I think I know what you're going to say. And there's also a counterpoint to that. So go for it. Friends. You can get exactly the same friends from another endeavor. No, I know. But like, Saying that they're worthless is no, it, worthless in comparison. Dangerous? No, I don't think so. Because and he didn't say worthless. He says it's dangerous. Yeah, thing I would pursue. say it's not worthless. I would say I would agree that it is dangerous if you get sucked into it and you don't like counteract it with at least being healthy. I don't know. That's coming from Andrew Tate, who was a professional what like kickboxer. You, some I think so. Kickboxing, some of the martial arts, and so obviously his interests are more in the traditional sports. Mm. If someone is born and they just way prefer video games to any traditional sport, you, what you're saying change the fundamentals of their being. Yeah, but are, are you saying is a way for them to make friends with similar interests? Yeah, because if they hate sport, then and they don't do video games in esports, they just like play it in their room. Mm. They're going to be lonely. I'd say that's a, probably the best take. Is that you can get a friend group of similar interest to you. I definitely yeah. think that's probably the best alternative. But with that said, people always have a diverse range of interests. Yeah. And there are other things that and maybe you could encourage more so than that if you think that it is not gonna go anywhere. Because like let like if 
this, this this might not go down so well with the audience. <laughs> <laughs> if I hadn't got into Don't underdogs, oh. yeah, I would have thought that my time playing competitive Smash was a waste of time. Yeah, yeah, you know, like because I already had like I have a, I enjoyed it very much, and I did make a lot of friends out of it. But I've made equally good friends through frisbee, and I've made equally good friends through other other things that have got me more things in life. And I would have thought, well, why wasn't I just investing my time in these other interests of mine? Because if your only interest in the entire world is esports, mm. you don't have a very balanced life to start off with. But I would say not that just about underdogs. I'm guessing anything. you mean your YouTube as well. Yes, definitely. Yeah, you're like you just if if it hadn't become a successful venture for me, because I'm in that top couple percent yeah. of people who do gain something out of it, but the other ninety nine don't. Yeah, they they have a phase. They get super into competitive smash. They'll play it for five years. And then they'll eventually stop. And what do they have to show for it? Aside from these friendships, which are very important. Yeah, well, and fun. I think it's. Uh, I think you it's, like to have hobbies as well. I feel yeah, like. and like yeah. people who knit. Are you like? Are you? But you can't become an esports knitters? athlete when it's a hobby. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, some people do. And no, they spend ten hours a day on that shit. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah. There's a. That's li- what he's. A he's not against the concept of playing a video game in a competitive sense. Right. It's about like devoting your life to it, like an esports. Yeah. Like. Oh, okay. But a lot of people do try to do that. Could pr- there's probably potentially a lot more risk, or even the same risk if he's a what kickboxer mm. in terms of brain damage oh, and yeah. injuries. Yeah, everything's got his co- pros and co- like pros and that. cons. But I, I, I would not agree really. that it, I would agree with him saying. Committing yourself, obviously, it's to very playing dangerous. video games all day is I think committing yourself dangerous. to anything is dangerous. And anything, yeah. So video games kind of, but also, like you say, professional athletes can have career-ending injuries yeah. that have way more lasting effect than a video game Especially addiction. fighters. Definitely. That's cr- Particularly intense. fighters. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> I, I don't no, think any- King's hands, though. <laughs> oh, that's pretty rough. They're pretty rough. I don't think rough. any pursuit is perfect. Yeah, yeah. no, of and, course. like, free of risk, but I think that what... What the idea here is that, uh, like, be very careful about yeah, I saying esports is a valid pursuit. Mm, okay, is that your scam of the week? Esports of the week, dude. I d- no, I'm not that. I'm not that controversial yet. <laughs> Give me a few weeks of the. Uh, the <laughs> I would say it's fine train. as long as you just make sure you're healthy as well. I think that's the only. It's mm, the same with negative. any endeavor, I yeah. guess, for me. Like, a but drawer, people encourage famous- people to fully dive into these things. Yeah, like if a you think about a ballet player. dancer or a gymnast. Yeah. You can't become elite without it becoming your life. Yeah. And people celebrate that? Yeah. Are you, are you saying that's dangerous? Yes. Are you saying that's bad? Potentially. Yeah. Well, I, I don't, don't, think, think, I don't, think, I don't think esports is necessary. Like being committing to anything is not bad. I think uh, mm. everything's got its pros and cons and that esports is the same. I think it's extremely risky compared to other endeavors. Like I would say that there's bigger risks than in being a professional kickboxer and dedicating oh, your yeah. life to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Esports, so I don't know. It seems like a bit of a weird take to me. I, I, I'm saying it's, I want to know your opinion. I'm not saying yeah. like my opinion is not made up on yeah, it. That's yeah, why yeah. I wanted to know yeah. what you guys thought. Mm. I would agree with him saying it's dangerous though. Mm. Dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah. You agreed with Andrew Tate. Dangerous. You hate the left. That's that's Dangerous. The, the, the gotcha. All right. Should we finish off with, right. with both Peter's scam alert and Pop One's question yes. of the week? We should. Sure. Quick fire. Wait, do you have a scam? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You go scam? first though. Wait, um, not it? yet, Jordan. I've got the I've got the sound bite. I've Should I do my scam bite. then? Do we have nah, a no, we no, don't no, have no. a we should do a scam? No, we just wait. We're Why gonna get it. Okay. Do the scam. Can, we, can, I have, can okay. I have the Peter's scam alert? Peter. Scam alert. Oh, so don't actually have was a scam. Really this thing? is one I've discussed with you guys before. Planks. At the gym. Exercise. Planks. Planks. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. Plank, like where you get on your elbows and you say, I'm, I'm doing a fat ab workout. Yeah. What other exercise tells you to stand still? Well, you're not standing. Gotcha. Whatever exercise requires stillness. Meditation. That's not a muscle exercise. Yoga. Yoga. Yeah, uh, yoga. You're or, or moving, hitting a pose and moving. No, but you hold. You, you hold, hold a pose. I guess more my point is if you want to try and build a six pack. Yeah. Planks sound like the stupidest shit. Is that based on science or just sort of your uh, opinion? My opinion and yeah, also okay. my own experience. Sure. Not science. I haven't researched this one. I Peter Scammell is pretty opinionated. <laughs> uh, no, I would say specifically growing a six pack from what I've learned. I've done a bit of research growing on one. growing muscle development is you mainly want to be uh, focusing on things that like you could do like 10 reps of like hard, like say if you're like trying to grow specifically your biceps to yep. make them bigger. Yep. You would do something you can do about eight, ten reps of. And you're tired at the end. And then it's like, that would grow 
the the actual physical muscle. Yeah, but people often say eight to twelve is that's at that hypertrophy. So I feel like for growing range. a actual six pack, you would want to do something you could do about that many times. How but many reps is a plank? Zero. One. One. I guess well, so. it's a bit it's a bit different. I'd say plank would probably be better though if you're trying to be, I don't know. Do something where you'd use your core for a long time. Yeah, for endurance, I guess. Endurance. I think it's more like, you know how people love to lift the heaviest weight once? It's yeah. like yeah. that for planks. It's like trying to push your body as far as it will go. Yeah. But there's probably better things. But I feel like it's very diminishing diminishing returns. Oh, like I don't think people it's necessarily... People don't do a one rep max yeah. and think, oh man, I built so much muscle today. Yeah, yeah definitely. But people think that about planks. Do they? I think people do a plank and they're like, man, I, I can't wait for the six pack I to think hit me. So, yeah. You know what? Oh, okay. The shit part is the your your workouts get less efficient the better you get at the yeah, plank. Yeah, that's so annoying. Because yeah. then that's it's the like you gotta hit plank. Fuck. Yeah, you can't like plank more weight. Oh, oh wait, what on if your you back? Pull, yeah, yeah, you, you can, can do that. That's what people way. do with like push ups. They make them progressively harder. Ah. Um. So yeah, that's my scam of the week. People thinking planks. I, I, it's not like I'm against planks themselves. Yeah. It's that I'm against people thinking it's the be all and end all of abs. What you would you recommend, Peter? Backflips. Okay. Can you do about ten of them in a row? I can. What about for exhausted? the what yeah. about for the ninety five percent of us that cannot backflip? Uh, get creative with it. Keep it fun because I think my biggest problem with planks is that they're absolutely no fucking fun. What have you watched TV? Yeah, I hate planks, so I love this game. Yeah, ten because, out of ten. Like if you do something that is like mixing it up. <laughs> like if you let's say you get a uh, you learn four ab exercises yeah do them in a cheeky little circuit do that twice yeah you've done like eight sets of ab exercises yeah and you've kept it fresh it's much more fun if you want to throw a 30 second plank in there yeah go for it aren't ab exercises in general a bit of a scam I yeah that's, I'm, I'm getting there Peter oh, said okay. that <laughs> backflips sound good though backflips seem to hit me way but again not everyone can do that but like yeah I don't know isn't it like way harder to get a six pack than to like build oh, muscle. Oh, apparently elsewhere. it's all about uh, and also six packs are kind of yeah, not food. Like six packs aren't actually going to make you that much healthier. It's just the looks. Yeah, it's it's all oh, about. If food. you look at um top, especially UFC, I've noticed because they're not wearing a shirt. They a lot of them don't have six packs. Yeah, yeah. and they're r- and they're so obviously strong. the strongest people ever. I think. It's more about probably I mean. losing fat around your stomach. It's and definitely like an aesthetic thing. Aesthetics. That's why I've made the choice to not get a six pack. So <laughs> Good on you, Zach. Keep it up. <laughs> He's pledged himself. What a yeah. hero. I say well, like, so. I have kind of six packs, but it's not like a model. So like if, a model will have yeah. much more defined yeah. six pack. In the defense of planks, they're very accessible, which is the best part about them. Yeah. Because anyone can do it right now. Yeah, I like doing that, it. That craze where right you can plank anywhere. Right now. <laughs> yeah, pl- yeah, like that. No, but like <laughs> when, when we did the planks of the gym challenge, we said, guys, try this at home and yeah. see if you beat our time. And so many comments did that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so like, the, what other exercise could we have done that with? Set Box up. jump. Box jump. Yeah, it's guys, jump on your desk. Centimeters. <laughs> jump on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> so they're very accessible, so that's good. But I think if you want to get into your fitness more, get creative with it. Yeah. That's my that's nice. my scam of the week. Planks. All right. Scam. Done. Guys, we found it. Jordan. It's gonna be definitely. Wait, isn't I'm gonna it? try and remember my thing. Wait. Not connected. What? I th- I just connected it. Well, I don't know. Oh God. production cards. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> motivation. Wait, did, was that loud enough? Yeah, it was good. We'll sure. try one more. Hey guys, okay. he's doing the question. All right, it's we'll the start. Question of the week. <laughs> All right. So there's been a lot of self improvement talk mm-hmm. on this podcast, but yeah. I think I've discovered. Have we improved too much? The Don't say you. best oh. method oh. in the world that will save oh, everyone. Wow. Is this a question or a statement? A statement. It's maybe the a question. One maybe statement, statement of the week. You gotta love Put when the puppet one question starts with "I've sold the world." I think best self improvement method in the world. I think it is. I'm Couldn't board. you just say in this room? I think it's in the world. I think you can't deny this. Did you say this about the comma meter? He said this you about the depression the meter <laughs> that we determined would make everyone want to kill depressed. themselves. Let yeah. the man All speak. Right. Let the man speak. How about this? Nobody Ever. is allowed Shut to up. eat until they finish their work. So Wait, say that again. I'm going to die. Nobody is allowed to eat <laughs> unless they finish their work. Yeah. Jackson, Think about it. What is time once you upload. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, <laughs> what, is, what is the biggest motivation that is throughout history? And food definitely You want to eat. What about sex, money? Nope. Well, no, uh, but you, no uh, okay. until you Okay, Jackson, yeah. two options for the rest of the week. No food, no sex. Which do you choose? No food. 
Why you die? Why? I Man's won't die. gonna fuck, dude. What do you mean you won't die? I can just not eat food. I'm fine. I, a I, week straight with no food. Man's I've done fuck. that before. A week with 100%. no food. You've, you've never done a week yeah, without food. 100% I have. No, no, you have. No, you have. I'll, I'll do it again. A nibble. I'll do when it again. When have you done There's that? No My literally question is, shot. how do you retain the energy to fuck There's on no food? There's no food. It's like a just sort of anything. Sand comes out. Makes a wheeze sound effect. This is a bit gross. Are you allowed to eat Come. Yeah. yeah. Sure. You're right. You come. Well I'm, then, fine. I'm fine. Well, then sex. Oh, two weeks. <laughs> there's, no, there's no world where you lasted an t- entire week without having I a nut. I definitely have. I definitely like have. Like a nut. <laughs> in, in terms of actual. <laughs> in terms of You've never gone a week without a nut before, <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> in terms of the food. I, Why couldn't I think you choose I any other food? Because I was thinking a little easy food that you would at least be like, oh, this doesn't count. Well, like a scrambled egg or something. Okay, yeah. There's no way. There's no way. You've not got You're a week without coming. You've lied. I haven't lied. Does anyone believe Jackson? I don't. Nah, he's no, he's lying. Okay. There's no shot. I'm and fine. You have to make an effort to do this. Did you like do no, this? No, I just genuinely, this is true fact about <laughs> no me, do way. not get hungry. <laughs> For a week. <laughs> no. Yeah. You would waste no, no. a week. You, you, no, you, you, no. you wake no. up to need You can live so long without food. Go no on, wonder man. you don't go, go outside. On. You would probably sit, the sun would hit you and you would expire. No, I eat heaps of food now, but like I- Okay, well, oh, I definitely this have. This is a fucking lie. Without no, I, I feel Jackson. like this might have just been an extreme depressive episode. I've definitely I'm, done this. <laughs> there will be people in the did comments you, that have not eaten for a week. Did you drink I guarantee wa- it. Did you drink water? <laughs> sure. Yes, of course. All right, so we got no listeners and no eaters. <laughs> Hit us up in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Mute viewers and... We're going to have more people that haven't eaten in a week than people that listen without any... I don't That's think not I've true. not eaten in two days in my life. I think maybe... I, I don't even know if there's been one day. I don't think I've That's not crazy. eaten in one day either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> certainly haven't You know actually. I used to weigh like 40 kilos. Yeah, That's but absurd. A week. Were you like meditating? Were you a monk? I just d- do not get hungry. It's a fact I about I reckon me. you would have like snuck in a cracker. Do you no. reckon that's some kind of disorder? Probably. That's crazy. I feel like you've said to me before, I'm so hungry. <laughs> no, I, that's because now I start eating a now lot, you now eat I'm so, eating a lot yeah. more food, so I get hungry. But nah, that's true. your body gets used to what you're doing, and I used to eat fucking nothing all you day. a cracker. <laughs> okay. An apple. Go on. That's What's the theory? Well, that's it. Okay, it? so this might not work on Jackson, but for the rest of us. I reckon it would. Well, I get hungry now. Have you watched Survivor? They like donate on that show. Oh, yeah. They what? eat some fucking berry. <laughs> but they eat like basically nothing. Yeah, but that's they have, very like, a different to rice nothing. Well, it's so different end, to now nothing. They do. That would match Jackson's upload schedule. So I think the theory is still potentially valid. Mm. I think the question is not can you survive not eating for a week it's why the fuck would you do that I think is the better question I'm telling you I'm not alone in this I know I'm being <laughs> bullied in this room you. but I'm not alone There's I no think this world. is less normal than you might think yeah, no, I, no, yeah, I don't think it's normal but I'm not being bullied for this so I'm not listening to you guys <laughs> alright let's go back to Jordan's theory well that's the theory so, it's done yeah but who's enforcing this yeah, um, well, that's the hard part, isn't it? Well, yeah. like we Peter's out. kind of doing it now with his coffee. It's exactly. not food. Exactly. I bet you're more motivated to go but to the gym. But incentive's always a very good way yeah. to do things. My issue is that, like... <laughs> I want to eat. <laughs> it doesn't improve the quality of people's work, which I think is much more of a problem in society. You know how many people mm. I hear about oh, where they're, like, co-workers just do nothing, and then I also see them just have no work to do for half the day? Yeah. Like, Who are you talking about? Oh, no, that's a uh, crazy well, thing. I've sometimes about Maddie work. will yeah, have... Nothing well, to Well, like, do. Maddie had her old job. At her old job, there'd be oh, people yeah, that just... Oh, yeah, you can talk that one because she's not there anymore. People that just do <laughs> fuck all, like, her co-workers, and, like, yeah. she'll get annoyed because she has to pick up the pieces. Mm. Now at her current job, she's not being given enough work, like... Shut up, Zach! Still here. <laughs> yeah, through our podcast. But yeah, I've never realised no, like, that. I thought people went to work and then they just work the whole time. But turns out- Oh, they out, do not. Apparently. Because I've never worked, I must say. Office jobs, especially. Office jobs are like infamous so for lack of productivity. Really? That's what you got to fix. That's because crazy. like, you know, like they're willing to spend like, let's say a thousand dollars on some like workshop or something for like a 2% increase in productivity because there's such a huge gap in what they could be achieving, but they wow. just don't because of lack of motivation. Because YouTube's very different. YouTube is pure, you are getting paid for what you do. It's purely results-based. Yeah. If you get out what you put in. If we could somehow turn that into every job, there's no paper that's hour. the improvement you mm. need. You need like people who work more 
but then like who's gonna judge that? Well, well that's all like you sales need to do bonuses and stuff, right? That's yeah. like what's well, that called? Commission. Commission. Yeah. Well all you need to do is say get this job done and you can then you you're free. And don't people hate working off commission as well, well sometimes? There's both, yeah, of like, course. <laughs> it's it's flawed because both ways, because Sophie was telling me about how like she was doing a bunch of work and her coworker was doing shit all and it was pissing her off. Yeah. And so I was like, it'd be nice if there was some kind of system where you got rewarded for the amount of work you actually do. Yeah. But then I thought, actually, on a day where I don't really feel like doing very much, that would be quite bad. Yeah. Mm, you know, life, like, life it, so, like, per hour obviously has its flaws because everyone gets the same amount no yeah. matter how much work you're doing. But then per job also has its flaws because people just take advantage of whatever system there is. Yeah. So it is, there's, like, there's no solution, there's is there? no perfect solution. Well, except, except for this. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Peter, there is a perfect oh, solution. Yes, so like, except when Jordan solves the world. All yeah, right, yeah. guys, no, today you can't eat until I get those expense reports. No, I think what yeah, Zach's saying is very good because a lot of people get hangry and grumpy and, like, crash if they don't eat. Because I know that you're a robot, so you don't feel this. I do feel it. Oh, really? You know I what? Feelings. Okay, I'm fixing Jordan's system. Everyone, <laughs> but this requires everyone needs to get their, like, work for the day. On like a to do list, yeah, from their boss, and then if you finish it in three hours, you, you get, can you're eat. Gone. You're, you go you're home, free. but that's not what you were saying. Oh well, I uh, I didn't know that jobs were like that. But the problem fair. is yeah. with that Zach is that people do shit jobs of it then because they're trying to do it too fast. Nah, but it's got to be good enough. The boss has to say. <laughs> but then it's like, who's judging all this? The yeah, boss. and then you're paying someone else to judge someone's work full time. So at my mm -hmm. old job. Tell, tell me if you think this is lazy or good work ethic. When I used to do like x-ray scans of these people for their bone density, they would book in 15-minute appointments. But if you are very efficient with the scans, you can get them done in seven or eight minutes. So sometimes they double book people, even like five appointments in the hour instead of four. But say there were just four appointments in the hour for the whole day, which I'd get a lot. Then I would do... And because it's all old people, they get to the appointments very early. So, like, I'll do Ooh, the first nice. person. I might finish them in, like, eight minutes. Then I'll call the next person in, do them in, like, eight minutes. If everyone's, like, able to get up on the machine and do it all, fine. And then I will finish the hour's worth of appointments in 40 minutes and then just watch YouTube for 20 minutes. That's yeah. great. Like, great. give myself a break because there was no other That's work fantastic. for me to be doing. No, I think it's absurd that you get paid, like, per yeah. hour. That's but then it was like crazy. I was so efficient at the job that I gave myself a break when really there were people that were super slow and would take the whole 15 minutes. Yeah. I would rather be, like... And I would, I would actually be looking at, like, three things at once, like, doing the scan, filling out reports and doing their Medicare, like, all at once... Because I get very like robotic with that sort of stuff, and I was yeah. fucking efficient. Yeah, as long as you're doing a I good job great. of those things, and yeah. you're not like oh, yeah. rushing people unduly. If you're doing a good job, then that's awesome. No, no, of course, with the old people, sometimes you get someone that has a very hard time getting mm. into the position on the machine to do the scan, and it's not like mm. I'll just like yeah. come on, chuck them up there, like chop chop. <laughs> I'm halfway through a Mr. Beast video, <laughs> so you better get the fuck up there. There's a mention. I've done it. <laughs> had to had to go in there somewhere. Yeah, not like that. But then like I was kind of like, is that like me? Trying to be lazy by being it's really you efficient. Being efficient. No, it's yeah. good. It's and good. that's like why like it, it's good in that regard because you had an hourly rate, but you also had goals set out for you yeah. that were very clear. Mm. Whereas with like office jobs, sometimes the goals people get set out are not either not very clear or not appropriate for the amount of time they have. Yep. And I so like I that's alone the problem as is. well. Yeah. Which also, was like a big thing because no one could like come over and being like, and see you. oh, you're watching YouTube. Here's some more work. That's mm. the biggest part. I feel part. like people that do more work are often punished exactly. by getting yeah. even more. That's the biggest part. Whereas this was like more work rewarded me. So it was a good system. Yeah, Both systems encourage laziness in different ways. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think that's laziness. I think that's awesome. No, no, no. I'm saying this like is not your typical office job because I was by myself and I got rewarded yeah. for working more. If there was yeah. someone managing you, giving you more work every time that you finish the work, then shit, like, yeah. yeah, then I would go slow. Yeah, then you're I'd rewarded for laziness. like 15 minutes per Yeah, person. that's the thing at, at schools as well when it's like, when I was learning to be a teacher, it's like, you don't want to be like, oh, you're finished, here's more work. Yeah. It's just like, you get rewarded with like games, that, like yeah. games that are kind of work games and something that's fun. Shoot the sheriff. Yeah. Shoot the sheriff. Yeah. Once you're done. So go so I'm so glad we played Shoot the Sheriff on the pod a few weeks ago. That, <laughs> that was on the day. bonus episode. Oh, was <laughs> it? If you're not subscribed to Patreon. Oh, Patreon. Shit. Should we head over to the Patreon? Yeah, I think it's about time. We're, we're getting a long been about an hour and Just minutes. before we go, let's vote if we're in support of Jordan's hunger. The idea. Hunger Games. The yeah. Hunger Games. I, I actually say yes, but it needs other caveats to make it as so efficient as it could be. I think that this is going a little bit into a total totalitarian one, totalitarian. so I'm going to he head with a no on this one. I'll go maybe. Ooh, Keep it interesting. 50-50. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know, yes for me, up. so it's a, it's a positive. I'll oh, go no, oh, no, no, no. You're a no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a no. Underdog, I'm a no. as a whole, like the idea. We support this idea. <laughs>
All right. All right. See you on the Patreon episode. Patrons, everyone else, have a great week. See you next week. See you.